Hello my frenzy, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about the facts and the fun about Valentine's Day. But before I proceed, I'd like to thank all my subscribers for your continued support to my channel. And for those who have not yet subscribed, please subscribe now if you like this video to notify you for the next videos I'll be uploading. Thank you. So here we go. There is only one happiness in life. To love and be loved. This quote is one of my favorite of all the quotes about love. Because Valentine's Day is approaching, I want to share to you some facts, superstitions, and fun about Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, also called Saint Valentine's Day or the Feast of Saint Valentine, it is celebrated annually on February 14. February 14 is the most romantic day of the year as couples across the globe honor their spouses, partners, and sweethearts. Hundreds of years of traditions and customs have made it into the holiday that we observe today. Valentine's Day is usually associated with traditional symbol of love, like chocolates, fine jewelries, and Valentine's Day flowers. However, it turns out that there are plenty of other signs and superstitions associated with the most romantic day of the year. So, if you are in the mood for a little fun and hoping to struck by Cupid's arrow, you may want to pay careful attention to the following. Let's start to ancient gods. Valentine's Day has evolved into a holiday represented by the ancient Roman gods Venus and Cupid. Cupid is the chubby baby with wings and a bow and arrow that has been associated with Valentine's Day for centuries. However, before he, he was renamed Cupid, he was the god of love Eros, the son of Greek goddess Aphrodite, which used two sets of arrows, one for love and another for hate, to play with the emotions of his targets. It was not until stories of his mischief were told by Romans that he adopted a childlike appearance that we recognize today. have nothing to do with romance but in fact legend has it that if a woman spots a winged creature on february 14 it will predict a type of man she will marry for example saint valentine's day org reports that those who notice a blue bird within the, their vicinity are destined to swap vows with a happy man to spot a robin likely become betrothed one day to a clergyman. Oops, just don't go looking for an owl, which supposedly indicate the viewer will unfortunately become spinster. Foods According to Good Housekeeping, what you eat on Valentine's Day could also affect your future. Like noodles, noodles are able to reward you with a long life, but in order to make this happen, you have to consume the whole strand without letting it break. Cabbage Cabbage is associated with luck and fortune. While pomegranates represent fertility and abundance, you could even use an apple to decipher how many children you will have one day. Just cut one half and count the number of seeds, reports St. Valentine's Day Org. 
and the last but not the least, colors. Wow, even colors has to do with Valentine's Day. So mga ka-frenzy, if you're planning to offer your loved ones flowers this Valentine's Day, you may want to take color into consideration. Romanstruct.com asserts that Red flowers symbolize passion and romance. White flowers represent purity. Pink suggests sweetness, grace, and elegance. Yellow symbolizes friendship. And orange flowers represent desire. So, mga ka frenzy, now you know. Think about what message you want to convey. When it comes down to it, February 14 is all about the magic of love. Perhaps that's why Valentine's Day is one of the highest spending holidays according to the National Retail Federation. That's all about for now, Monica Frenzy. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy it. Happy Valentine's everyone.